Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to feature my new vintage Chanel bag. This is the 9 inch Chanel Diana flap. It is the smaller out of the two Diana flaps that you can find on pre love sites. So, the reason why I decided to go with a Diana flap instead of like a classic flap is because I just wanted something different. And I think Diana flaps now are all the rage. Um, it's pretty popular on pre love sites, especially this 9 inch size instead of the 10 inch. Uh, if you do a little bit of research, you'll realize that. This bag is popular in the 1990s and it was named after Lady Diana and that is why its name is the Chanel Diana flap because uh, she was seen carrying this particular Diana flap style a lot in the 90s. I thought, you know, why not just get one, see if I like it and if I don't, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to sell it and get a bit of a profit as well because I think on the pre-love sites nowadays, you can find this for up to $4,000 Singapore dollars which is pretty steep for a vintage bag I got this one from Japanese reseller sites as well and I got it for only close to $2,000 the reason why it was such a steal is because of, I'm going to put in some pictures now. As you can see, it was really badly stained on the top part of the bag and at the back. Um, the inside was pretty much in um, pristine condition, but the outside had quite a bit of um, stains and minor scratches. So I got her clean and recolored because it's white there's obviously going to be a bit of a color transfer and that's one thing I don't really like about this bag I prefer to wear it double strap on my shoulder but you can only really wear this bag as a crossbody and because I won it once with dark colored pants I have a little bit of color transfer here already I've only worn it for a few hours and there is color transfer here already. That's the downside of a Diana flap because it's not really, it doesn't have a convertible strap. So you can only wear it like one or two ways. I purchased this little thing. I think everybody kind of know what it is, right? It's all over social media on YouTube. And basically you can use this to shorten the strap of your bag. See how it's attached now and it's holding the straps together like this and then you close it up and you just pull it out and now I can wear it on my shoulder like this. Let's take a closer look and I'll show you how much it will fit. It's actually a really good size. So this is how it looks like. It's 9 inches across or 23 cm across, so it is the smaller size. It's comparable to a Chanel Classic flap in the small size. So it is gilded with 24 karat gold. And you can look at the gold plating. It is still really rich and yellow, hasn't faded at all. And because it's a vintage bag made in France, it also has this hallmark right here. So here's the twist lock, and when you open it, you will see the Chanel stamping on the inside pocket. There is also a zipper pocket here. Oh, yep, and I have like all the authenticity cards and everything. It came with all of this. And because um, this bag was from a Japanese reseller, it actually came with. Um, this care booklet that is all in Japanese and here's the authenticity card still in really good condition and the serial number of course corresponds with the authenticity seal on the inside can you see that little sticker on the inside yep that's the authenticity sticker and on the opposite side over here you will find the stamping that says made in France does not have a back pocket so uh, well it's not like a deal breaker but it's obviously much better to have a back pocket so you can put in your easeling card or like any necessities that you want to be able to reach out for okay now I'm going to show you what fits in the Chanel Diana flat 
Firstly, I have the iPhone 8 Plus. It's a pretty big phone and it fits perfectly in the bag. I have a wallet from Tory Burch and it fits nicely in as well. Packet of tissue, hand sanitizer, AirPods, a tin of mint, some makeup necessities, lipstick, concealer and all that. And here's what it looks like inside. So I can really fit quite a bit of items in this bag, my necessities and a little more. So it's really a good size. And the reason why I feel this bag fits more than the classic um, Chanel flap in the small size is because it doesn't have that double flap. You know, the classic Chanel flap has a double flap and that takes up a little more space. But this one doesn't, it's just a completely open bag. So you can fit quite a lot of items in this 23cm or 9 inch Chanel Diana flap. Okay, if you stayed to the end of this video, thank you very much. Here is a bonus part of this video. I'm actually going to do a little bit of an unboxing and sneak peek of this new bag I just got from Teddy Blake. Yes, Teddy Blake actually sends a lot of bags for reviews on YouTube and I'm just so happy that I got one as well because I've been eyeing some of their bags for a long time. I'm just going to give you a little sneak peek. So this is the packaging. It's so well packaged. It feels really good and sturdy. It's not like a cheap type of box. And here is the bag. It has its own little dust bag. I'm just going to show you a little bit, alright? Ta -da -da. Just look at the colour. It's a very nice taupey colour and it's in the... It has that croco print as well, so... Yeah, I'm just going to show you this much. I will do this unboxing in a separate video because this video is getting a little long. So, you can stay tuned to that. But thank you Tiny Blake for sending this over. I really really like it. I don't really have a medium sized bag so this is the perfect bag size for me right now. And yeah, so that's about it for today's video. And I hope you enjoyed today's one. Yeah, have a good week ahead. Bye!